Questions this evening about the years-long construction on the new span of the Howard Franklin Bridge. And good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dave Wagner. And I'm Carolina Lead. It's one hundreds of thousands of us drive across every day connecting Tampa to St. Pete. Question is, when will it be done? And what's going to happen to the old bridge? 10 Tampa Bay Shannon Clow visited the construction site to find out. Well, many of us get into our cars to get to work. And when some of us hop behind the wheel, we hit the Howard Franklin Bridge. And you may be thinking to yourself, construction seems to be taking forever on that new bridge. I found out from FDOT officials, soon enough, that will change. A project this size is, is a, a large logistical effort. Will be the largest bridge by deck area in the state. It's around an $850 million project. So why is this pricey project necessary? Um, the old existing bridge is reaching its service life. Austin Peterson with the Florida Department of Transportation tells me each bridge has a service life up to 80 years. The Howard Franklin Bridge was constructed in 1959, making it 64 years old. Soon, It'll be gone. Old bridge, currently the plan is for it to be demolished and pulverized and recycled. As the project manager, Austin says the new bridge should be fully operational by 2025. This new uh, structure is going to be around 170 feet wide. That includes four lanes plus four express lanes, two in each direction and a shared use path for you to bike or walk on. On the new bridge on the north side, there will be a shared use path. That will be a bicycle pedestrian facility that will cross uh, from one end to the other of, of the new bridge. FDOT officials estimate 150,000 cars will drive across it every day. Traffic demand in, in now and in the future is a large reason for why this bridge is being constructed. To construct it, a hefty price tag. We're talking a cost of hundreds of millions of dollars for this one project. So what could that mean for other bridges in our area that may also need work? I would suggest to you the state roadway system, DOT is really, really on top of that issue. As an engineering professor at Florida Atlantic University, Fred Blocher tells me FDOT has a bridge inspection program. This way, officials make sure state operated bridges are safe to drive on. It's when you get into smaller communities with less money and resources, that's when bridge repairs can become problematic. Large culvert style bridges that are in more rural communities, um, those might be more suspect. And rural areas don't have the funds that you have in, you know, Tampa. For that reason, there is federal accountability through a bridge report that's done by the U.S. Department of Transportation. Just last year, the government handed over $27 billion to replace and repair bridges. 245 million of that will be for over 400 Florida bridges that are in poor condition. At least 20 of those are here in the Tampa Bay area. Right now, one of the state's largest projects is right here, connecting Tampa to St. Pete. Work over water, and so that does present a challenge for sure. No matter the challenge, safety is the ultimate goal, and the new Howard Franklin Bridge will help drive that home. So it won't be the next time you're behind the wheel that you're going to be on the new bridge, but by 2025, I'm told the bridge will be operational. Of course, this depends any delays they may be seeing in rainy season. For 10 Tampa Bay, I'm Shannon Clow. And a heads up for drivers, there will be lane closures affecting the southbound lanes. They're in effect until May 12th between 9 p.m. and 6 a.m.